Hey, what's up guys? Houston here. Look, are you trying to take advantage of this car collapse market so that you can start your Toro business? Or are you trying to take advantage of the real estate collapse market to get into the real estate investing game? Are you trying to build up your credit so you can get access to more funding to grow whatever type of business you have? Okay, if you're trying to do that, you probably going to need, and you if you have challenging credit, you probably going to need some credit builder apps. But here's the problem. Which credit builder apps is the best ones? Well, this video, I'm going to explain to you some of the credit builder apps, and I'm going to tell you an alternative that most people aren't even aware of in terms of who they should be banking with in order to get the maximum amount of funding, even when you have a low credit score, all right? Now, here's the thing about it with credit builder apps, all right? They have the credit cards, they have the loans, and they have the rent reporting, right? Well, there's one lender that actually has all three, and that's Self Lender, right? So with Self, they're offering the loans, they're offering the credit cards and they're offering the rent reporter. So they're trying to do an all-in-one uh, situation. However, for those of you that figure that, hey, I got self, all right, and my credit score isn't uh, going up high enough, then should I be adding on another credit builder? Well, if you're going to be adding on a credit another credit builder, here's some other options for you. You have Stellify. Now, with Stellify, they offer a $25,000 line of credit, okay? It's a line of credit that goes on your credit file and you pay monthly and stuff, but it's not actual money, all right? It's just a line of credit that they'll put on your credit file. Then you have Kovo. Now with Kovo, you're buying like eBooks and stuff like that. It's like an installment loan. You're paying $10 a month uh, for 24 months, okay? And then it reports to all three credit bureaus. And then many of you are familiar with Chime. You have to start with $200 minimum in terms of helping you build up your credit and everything by the reporting then you have grow credit now with grow credit here's the thing about it with the subscriptions it's very important because a lot of people they have the netflix they have the hulu they have uh spotify so they have all these different subscriptions as well as they're paying car insurance why isn't your car insurance uh reporting as a trade line on your credit report well that's where grow credit can come in to help you to report miscellaneous trade lines on your credit to help build up your credit so that's definitely one you want to take into consideration now you also have kickoff now kickoff gives you what a 750 dollar uh trade line on your credit right and you're paying monthly fees small monthly fees like experian boost but the problem with the challenge with experian boost like it will report the rent it started reporting the rent as well as well as your other subscriptions and stuff but the thing about it only reports to experian so it's only going to help you on the experience side. However, my FICO, my FICO, they have a new system. Now with the my FICO system, you have to get denied for like a credit card and stuff in order to become a member of their system. But with the my FICO system, it reports to all three credit bureaus all right now those would be some of the top apps that credit builder apps that you may want to consider if you're trying to like i said buy a house buy a car trying to get funding for a business trying to boost up your credit score extra anywhere from 50 to 100 points and stuff these are those credit builder apps however some things that i always tell people Look at your credit unions. Now, most people are familiar with uh, Navy Federal, okay? And I tell people, if you can join Navy Federal, then I would definitely try to join. The reason is because they have great credit, build, credit builder uh, accounts to offer you, right? Because they have the uh, Navy Federal and rewards. $200 after good payments of six months turns into $2,000, all right? Then they have the pledge loan. Now, this is where people get confused because t pledge loan is $250. But people think, well, since I got the pledge loan, that Navy Federal will give me a personal loan uh, once I finish paying the pledge loan. And that's not necessarily the truth. Here's the thing about it with uh, Navy Federal. In order for, like, you're trying to get, like, a, a personal loan online, a credit and stuff, 
because of different metrics and stuff, we know about the internal score, the internal score going from 100 to 450. However, the internal score, that's only going to help you when it comes to like credit cards. It doesn't help you when it comes to loans. So that's the reason like the metrics on a personal loan with Navy Federal is so different because again, Granted, they will pull your TransUnion FICO 9. Your utilization on your other accounts is really what plays a factor. This is one of the biggest reasons that most people, you can have a perfect credit score. You can have a 750, 800 credit score. However, with your traditional lenders like Navy Federal, American Express, Bank of America, Chase, if your utilization or your debt to income ratio, I should say, is over that 55% threshold, even with good credit, they will, they may just pass you up because they said that you have too much open revolving accounts, okay? And now another key thing that you also need to understand where, like with self lenders, sometimes they won't, granted, all those credit builder loans. They don't do a hard pull on the credit, okay? However, here's the thing about it. With some of these credit builders, because they have that starting date, because when they have that starting date, a lot of uh, creditors, when you go like to the major banks and stuff like that, and this should, I wish this would have been explained to some people because when they ask me about it, what ends up happening? They will put that starting date. So every account you add that's new that you put that starting date, it restarts your credit file, okay? So that's the reason, like, when you try to go get, a say, a credit card from Navy, uh, excuse me, from Chase Bank, right? So with Chase, okay, just remember, here's the thing about it with Chase or banks that use FICO 8, all right? Things that they don't use, all right? They won't use subscriptions. They won't use utility bills. They won't use authorized users, and they won't use uh, rental payments, okay? So even though you may have this high credit score with these, uh, from these credit builders and stuff, when you look at going to those banks like Chase, Bank of America, American Express, they're not calculating this, okay? So that's the reason I tell you, like with those four accounts that I just mentioned, with the uh, rental payments, authorized users, subscriptions, and a utility bill, that's to help your FICO 9 event. In terms of there is a credit union that actually uses, oh, excuse me, that uses Vantage, okay? And that's Baxter Credit Union. Now, Baxter Credit Union, I made a video about it. You all can check it out uh, in the description or through the uh, site. But here's the thing about it with Baxter Credit Union, a CVS or something like that, then you can join through them just so you know. However, they're not restricted in terms of geological force helping people get access to funding. Now, the minimum credit, credit score, I would say to get a credit card with them is a 620. But again, you have to remember this that their system is using Vantage score. Now with the Vantage TransUnion scores, granted that like your major banks like Chase and American Express will give you a Vantage score. They do not pull them, they pull a FICO score. So to be able to find this hidden gem like Baxter Credit Union to actually leverage, to be able to uh, get funding and stuff off of a Vantage score, definitely is one of your biggest advantages in talk terms of helping you build up your credit and stuff but just keep in mind because you have these credit builders on your credit file when you go to those other major banks that use a fico uh eight score though that information is not calculated all right now if you have any other questions about business credit funding personal credit funding removing negative items off of the credit report click the link in the description schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation thank you